yeah, I think there are many reasons you haven't seen Twitch so far in this tournament as far as the laning phase is concerned. So the Caitlyn makes the most sense. And the way he shops, he actually pr uh, prioritized fitting in the pink ward. Krayla with the play on the curl. He's going to flash. The knockback's going to still happen. Oh, he doesn't go far enough back, and curl gets back to his turret anyway. That was tight. Nearly first blood for Edward Gaming. It just hasn't been playing out that way. Peanut is on the hunt. If Death can complete the recall, no! Ooh, gonna get hit up with a couple of plants, but not rooted crucially. It's actually Gorilla saving that one for Mako. So Death stays Gorilla alive, keeps here trap. For Here comes a lot of the rest of the team. It's a bit of a 4v3 right here. Clear Love hoping to do a little bit of helping. The question is, when can Scout make it down? That rise is on the roam. Gorilla to help control the brush. Kuro staying down here for several waves. And the thing is, if EDG abandon this, they're still giving up first turret. Even if they stay, they're likely to be giving up first turret. Clear Love still level five, and he's caught. Caught out with Chain CC. First blood comes through the flash into the kick for Peanut. Gets it down for himself. The re-engage by Scout means nothing. A body block on the overload is nice. And that is 600 gold in for Rox Tiger. They can't really push up in that lane. Wow, look at that. The preemptive flash from Koro. He was so afraid of the twisting advance coming through, but now, Kill that plan. Sniping towards the minions and Def just gonna wave clear with his ultimate. Not getting a lot out of that one to be honest. Just trying to get rid of the minions and push on forward. Clear love is level six now. Peanut though fighting Scout to fight for the blue up, but be careful, there's a heck from around. The knockout's gonna come through regardless, and now it's Mako dodging away from all the CC, running out of health, but actually get away with it. Beautifully played by Mako to survive. And that's just it. It was beautifully played, but they burned three summoner spells just to survive. Uh-oh. The Whimper of us. Oh, this is rough stuff right now for Koro. You've got the rest of the team coming in for him, and it's a 3v1. Nowhere to go. Good. Bye to Kennen, but now the re-engage on the bot side. Prey gets one on a Mako. A trade kill for Clear Love. Something finally on the board for Edward Gaming. Not a complete shutout. And Scout wants in as well. Lands the rune prison. Spiraling in past the minions, and they're gonna block the rest of the skill shot, so nothing else for Scout to do on this one. And at least forcing Summoner Heal out of Prey, but that is still a two for one long term for Rocks Tigers. At about 20 minutes in, the previous game had just absolutely broken the game apart. They're doing so a little bit early. The flash engage on Nakoro. More CC to follow, not even a chance from the runaway with his life. It's gonna be the last hit on the peanut. Why not secure another one? Two, zero, and one here for the jungler. Rocks Tigers getting farther and farther and farther ahead. They had the early tracker's knife, they've upgraded to the maximum Sycern on Gorilla, and they always have the aggressive wards that let them make plays like this. The kick is in the chase through as well. Mako's gonna survive, gonna land the root in a peanut, but there's just not enough damage to deal. Clear Love really wants in though. Can he get the attacks? He's gonna go for the only oh! nice dodge from Peanut. Still alive somehow, but Scout's there with a vengeance. Now on to Kuro they go. The root's gonna land. A couple more shots should do it, but he's tanky enough. He lands the stun. He might kill off Clear Love, but no, now he's in the danger zone. This could be enough, and now it's still gonna be the one picked up. Nicely played by Kuro to get away. The Viking oh, the bottom side. Gorilla getting a ton of damage across on this one. Koro gonna lose his life as well. And that is the ace for one. Beautifully played by Rox Tigers. Is that I think the Aurelian Soul is the one champion that has thrown EDG's pick and ban off. They thought they could keep Koro in lane wave clearing. It didn't work, but Baron time. The Baron's already been picked up, but maybe this is the fight that every game he needs. Exhaust on right in time, and it's already one kill picked up. Make that two. Baron's gone. One trade kill, but it's a four versus three, and it might just get worse. The snipe gonna come through. Gonna tag Mako in the back below 1,000 HP. Smeb is taking the long way around to cut off the retreat. And there's nowhere to go. Depth gets shut down once again. Peanut gets that kill. Now Mako also rooted up against the wall. A double kill for the Rox Tigers jungler. It's four for one. Not even a problem right now. Rox Tigers with Baron looking to push through. It's 24. Three minutes into the game and 14,000 gold ahead. Game in the books, not gonna break, break the record books for this tournament at least, but this game might end on this push. This is an incredible display by the Rocks Tigers and EDG have to be very disappointed as well based on their pre-tournament expectations. There's just such little damage on EDG right now. Baron minions pushing up, one inhibitor already down. Let's watch Rocks work. One more attempt to try to keep the game alive. Edward Gaming going for the roam. Right. Moro gets in without the exhaust this time okay. around. A shutdown comes through. They got prey. The knockup already came in. 4v4. How much more gonna happen? Sveb is invincible as we know. 4v3 is another kill comes through. Now Def caught out. Oh. There's the stars. There's the kills. Clear love gets a bit of a terrify, but has to run for dear life. Sveb gonna drop the turret. I can put it on the peanut. By the way, only clear love left alive. Now, yes, prey was killed, but it does not matter. Oh. Another flash kick for peanut. Secures the ace. 5-1 and 5 on the lease in. And Rocks Tiger is going to make it a swift 2-0.
and very high kills for Rox Tigers. They averaged 18 kills per game in the group stage, but this was 18 kills in a much faster and more dominant fashion. Rox Tigers is going to go 2-0. People have their pre preconceived notions about what Korean League of Legends looks like. You see SKT, you see Samsung, you see the controlled play. That's not Rocks Tigers. These guys build damage. These guys dive towers. Their Baron power plays are massive. 